This is the story of my hair growth journey from natural to relaxed hair. Back in December 2019, I relaxed my hair after being natural for three years. I then accidentally cut my hair, so now I am on a new growth journey. This was my hair before, after my relaxer, and this was my hair after I big chalked my hair on accident. After I washed my hair, my hair was still curly, so now I have more of a text laxed hair. This was my hair growth in January 2020, and this was it in February, so here it is in March. Hey guys, your girl Chandra, I'm back with another video. This video is going to be an updated hair, real hair, um, growth update, an updated text lax um, update. Just an update on everything that is my natural hair. I'm going to show you guys how I touch up my hair since I have relaxed it. Um, I got a relaxer back in December, like December 26, 27, like the day after Christmas, I think. Um, and my hair was kind of like a 4B, 4C, and it actually didn't even take. And I had like a regular perm I think I used dark and lovely but it didn't take so it kind of just loosened my curls so my curls are still curly so I just decided just to be text lax instead of just trying to get my hair bone straight so this time around I decided to use a, a kid just for me perm um, they do have a text lax or a texturizer version of this but I wasn't really familiar with it even though I think you mix it just like a perm I just wanted to stick with what I knew so, um, I'm going to show you guys how I apply this, but right now I just have my hair in four space buns. Um, I'm only going to relax my hair every three months. So right now it's March. So it's been like over three months and, um, I'm just going to do the roots. I'm not going to go all the way down or through my hair cause I just want it to be manageable again. And then I am going to flat iron my hair. Um, as you guys know, right after I perm my hair, I accidentally cut off my hair. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my videos. Um, I accidentally chopped off my hair. So right now I'm going through a hair growth journey um, and growing it back. And you know, every month I've been updating you guys on it. Um, this month, I, well not this month. Well yeah, over the last month and a couple of days, I've been actually taking hair vitamins, so I'm going to give you an update on those hair vitamins as well to see if it helped or hindered my growth in any way since the last month. And yeah, I think that's basically it. So like I said, I have my hair in four space buns. I'm going to take some Vaseline and clip that around my edges so that the uh, relaxer doesn't um, burn my skin. And yeah, cause I'm probably gonna do my edges last, even though that's probably the most important to me. Um, but make sure I get the back. But you can use Vaseline or any kind of grease, just something that will keep it from burning your skin. And then I'll come back when it's time to apply the relaxer. Okay, so first, um, I'm going to use the Pre-Treat and Protect um, Pre-Relaxer Leave-In Conditioner. Now, this is supposed to go just on your hair and not your new growth. This is supposed to make your hair manageable and detangle it so that you are able to comb through it. And it's going to cause less breakage and all that crap. So, my sister is going to do it for me because I already have on gloves. There's no way... Can you open this or do you need scissors? Here's some scissors. Yeah, here. Not that side. That's step four, but that side.
the, the leave-in conditioner on it. I'm going to pour the activator inside of the relaxer. And like so, it does come with a wooden spoon. Not a wooden spoon, a wooden spatula so that you can stir it. Like this. So I'm just going to stir it. Oh, shit. I already got it on the floor. I'm just going to stir it, stir it, stir it. Which is so funny. Like, you're not supposed to go over, like, already permed stuff. But I could have sworn when I was little and I used to get permed. They would just go over all my hair every time. But I want to go over the new growth. And this is what it should look like. It kind of looks like sour cream. It's kind of the consist consist consistency. <laughs> I don't know how to say that word. You know what I mean. Get all the lumps out. Okay, and now I'm gonna apply the relaxer to my new growth. <laughs> shit happens oh yeah it's burning in the back lord jesus it's only supposed to be on for like eight minutes mm. did, did that take us eight minutes probably longer huh i just hope my roots are all done okay so i'm gonna go and wash my hair and then i will be back i'm going to use the neutralizing shampoo that they gave us basically what it does it turns pink and so as long as you're washing your hair and it's pink, that's how you know that it's relaxed or still in your hair. So make sure you use this. I will be back. Okay, so I've washed out the um, shampoo. And right now I am using step three, which is the natural hair milk silkening conditioner. You guys, so it's so funny. I tried to put the perm just on my roots, right? So it's like my roots are like straight and they're like, the ends are still curly. Now I'm not too worried about that because whenever I first did my perm, um my hair looked like it was bone straight and then i washed it and i realized my hair wasn't bone straight at all um i still feel a little texture um in my roots however my edges are sleek and that's really kind of just what i wanted um i can definitely tell that my hair is definitely a lot longer than um what it was so yeah so i'm just gonna let this conditioner sit on my hair probably comb through it a little bit because i still have some kind of sh some shedding a little bit going on and then i'm gonna come back and um blow dry it and flat iron it for you guys okay so my hair is blown out and i look at this i definitely um i don't know i I feel like my ends are blunt because as you guys know, I cut my hair, but I definitely feel like I need a trim, but I don't have any hair scissors. And every time I use scissors that aren't hair scissors, somebody says something in the comments. So I'm not going to trim it, but it definitely, definitely needs a trim up at the top. Maybe not so much the back because it's breaking off. But at the same time, it's been under wigs for like three months. So I've had wigs, braids, twists, like all that. So this is my hair. I 
can definitely tell it's grown. So I'm going to flat iron it and I will be back. Okay, so um, my flat iron is on 410 degrees. So that's what I'm going to flat iron my hair on. I've already sectioned my hair and parted it a little bit. I need some clips, but I don't feel like going to get them. I'm just gonna use hair ties for the time being. I'm gonna use the chasing method. Actually, I have two colors. Oh, this one's a bit. Well, ow! Oh, that's hot. That just burned my neck. Okay. Well, I thought I was gonna use the chasing method, but I kind of need that comb. straight and then I wrapped it so it's kind of weird looking but um let me show you guys what it looks like in the back so that's the side profile this is my hair and then that's what it looks like in the back there's another side profile I mean, I'm sure it'll look better, like, once I bump it and stuff, but this is basically it. Um, real quick, I'm going to show you guys um, a picture of the length it was at last month when I straightened my hair. Because I only straightened my hair once a month, and I'm only doing that so that I can give you guys um, length checks. Um, so I'm going to show you guys this month compared to last month right here. And yeah, so I took a Nature Bounty's Extra Strength Hair, Skin, and Nails, Argan Oil Infused Health and Beauty Vitamin Pills Gel, whatever. They're, oh, excuse me, they're little pink. I don't have any more. It's empty. Yeah, they are little pink gel pills, kind of. They look like fish oil pills, but they're pink. Um, I took this, there's 120 capsules and you take three a day. So I was taking it for about 40 days. Um, what I will say, um, I definitely saw a difference in my skin. I don't know if you guys know, my skin looks really good. Um, I rarely wear makeup now. Um, I haven't really switched up anything in my skin, um, routine except for using cocoa butter now to moisturize my face. Um, but other than that, um, I use Dove soap to wash my face or whatever soap I have here. And I don't really get acne unless I'm like on my period or something. So I noticed that, um, my nails definitely were growing. Um, but as far as my hair, I don't know. I don't know what length or what type of growth I was expecting to see. But if you saw my other pictures, like my sides have never been this long. So I think that my sides definitely caught up with the back of my hair. Um, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, also, I'm trying to think what else. That's pretty much it. Um, 
I didn't have any weird side effects taking these pills. The only thing I didn't like about it was that it kind of tasted like fish oil pills. So if I burped, like it would taste like fish oil and I didn't really like that. Um, like I said, my hair would be cuter if I bumped it. And then, you know, I never, I'm about to put a weave like right back in. I literally just, you know, redid it because I'm going to have a leave out. I'm going back to what I used to do. Like I'm so tired of wigs taking out my edges. So I'm going back to quick weaves and sewings with leave out, you guys. Okay. I mean, until they send me another wig. But if I do my hair myself, I'm going back to leave out. But y'all will see that in a future video. But as for right now, this is basically it, you guys. Um, let me see. Cause I feel like my hair is so uneven. <laughs> Like, let me show you guys my ponytail. Girl, I got a ponytail. I mean, I've always had a ponytail, but I miss my old ponytail when I first got my perm because, but anyway, I'm just happy my hair has grown back. Um, I will say it's grown very fast. There you go, guys. That's my ponytail. Um, it's grown. My hair grew fast from when I chopped it off the uh, first time to now because like my ponytail is touching the back of my neck so yeah I'll take it um but yeah my head is just big so that's that I'm gonna take pictures oh and as I'm feeling through my my uh scalp I didn't even get close to my root my roots are still curly so my hair is probably maybe like a half inch longer like i said it don't matter because i'm about to put a weave back in but i just wanted to give you guys an update on my hair and how i touch it up and then i will show you guys after i take out my next install how i um if my hair curled right back or if it's still if it's straight since i just re-relaxed it but i got a feeling it's just gonna curl right back but yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching and if you like this type of video, thumbs it up, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye guys.